it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am talking about my crochet. I am actually making a poncho and I was wondering whether you would like to join in and make a poncho too. So this is the plan. I have a poncho that I bought which is made up of two knitted rectangles. So I'm thinking maybe I could make one rectangle out of granny squares and one rectangle out of like an afghan type thing where you just crochet up and down. So I started because I always get very excited when I have an idea and I got started and I bought some wool and the wool I got was um, this one, King Cole Big Value Aran and uh, I got the shade Damson, that's the shade 110 and I got three balls of that I got the shade Lilac and that is shade number 1582. I got two balls of that, that's just the leftover of one ball. And then I got the shade 135 which is called Sky. I looked it up online. So I just got one of that, so that's sort of a contrasting colour. So I got six balls in all. And I have a crochet hook. Now the balls um, say you need crochet hook number four, but I'm using number five because that's then a little bit looser. If you do decide to use number four, your poncho will be smaller, so you'll have to take that into account. So size number five, um, a needle, a sharp one I use, so with a big hole and a sharp end to put in your ends. And then I have my little um, sewing scissors. So that's uh, that. And then I went online, just like you are doing now, and I watched how many? <laughs> Every single granny square tutorial there is. No, that's not true, but I watched a lot of them. And I made already quite a few uh, granny squares. So I'm going to make some uh, tutorials for you as well, so you can follow along for making the granny squares for your poncho. Now you can decide if you want to make your whole poncho out of granny squares, go ahead and make more and then make two rectangles out of that. Or if you want to make your poncho just out of this, because this is quite quick, I did this in, you know, not even a week I think. So yeah, let me show you how big it really is. Um, so yes, I mean this goes very quickly and uh, if you want to put them to that together as a poncho then go ahead so you can, you know, that will be a much quicker poncho. Um, so yes, uh, I will also be making a tutorial on how I'm going to be putting this together. So how I'm going to make the two rectangles, then putting the granny squares together and then putting the tassels on because I want to use, uh, I want to put some tassels on. And that's why I've got so much of this because this is the one that I'm going to use in between my um, granny squares and also for the tassels. Okay, so I hope you will join me in my journey towards a poncho. I have made or quite a few already, but... Um, you know, it, I will help you with, um, you know, with the tutorials to be able to make your own granny squares. And yes, yeah, so six balls of wool, choose a nice colour, get your hook, a needle and some scissors and we'll get started. I will do a tutorial on this as well and that will be just a sampler that I'll make and I'll tell you how many stitches you'll need and everything like that. Um, but I'll tell you how to do all the different um, stitches. Now, I have already done a couple of crochet um, tutorials about beginners, so how to make a magic circle, how to get started, how to do a slip knot, and also how to do some of the stitches. So do go and have a look at that in readiness for the first granny square coming up soon. Thank you very much for watching. Happy hunting for wool, and I'll see you soon. Bye!